Yeah, I do. It would be good to break Ari's spine. Yeah, yeah. that would be great, <laughs> I man. I agree. I would, what kind of face do you think he'd make as his? he realized that he'll never walk again? Okay, so like fucking, <laughs> I don't like, I don't need a spine, dude. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need to walk, dude. I don't know. No, no, seriously, I don't need it. I'll go to China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll oh rickshaw me around <laughs> because of communism. I, I'll just, I'll climb on Mao's they, back. They would take one look at Ari and toss him in the river. He's of <laughs> no use to society. They'll be like, hmm, small Jew. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, they would just pin whatever crime happened next in the country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ari's social credit would be so low. So low. So low. In fact, I want to move to China just to make bully him for his social credit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure us now, not living in China, not in yeah. the system at all, it's it's better somehow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But I, I'll bet he, he it wouldn't even, like, he wouldn't even fall in with, like, the rebels, right? I'll bet there's, like, a rebellious people with, like, low social credit. He would get lower social credit as he tried to pander to the communist government. Right. <laughs> just because he sucks so bad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Welcome oh. to Coward Hour. We're here with Robbie Goodwin. Yeah. Fuck off, Ari. My whole, I wanted my whole episode to be a video commentary of Ari's fucking, <laughs> of Ari's that, episode. Dude. We do it like an... I, we d- we do it like an Ari Shafir album. Yeah, where, uh, yeah. <laughs> we just play the episode and then pause. And Robbie, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, because I, I listened to that one, I had so many thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Ari tech Ari will DM me shit every day, and I just don't understand. Like, <laughs> I don't understand what's happening to his mind, but something is happening. To Ari's mind. <laughs> it's very detrimental. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's uh, the liberal colleges. I agree. I, I, honestly, He's a university student, and you know the the universities. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, when he first got to NYU, he kept trying <laughs> to convince me that Antifa was good, and then I was like, I, "Dude, Ari, I don't know about that." And yeah, I was yeah. like, "Dude, I don't know. I kind of regret being a part of this." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Ari in Antifa? He's in this like very left left wing like Jewish he like would, thing. Ari would never. I, the Ari couldn't take down a riot cop. That's why he's what in that. He, like, what does he fucking think? No, he. He couldn't, he couldn't take down like at literally anything. He's so, dude, he all, couldn't take down a poster. All you have to do, <laughs> <laughs> he get overwhelmed by this tapestry I'm looking at. All you have to do to like send Ari into a spot is just like speak to him in like uh, an overly assertive tone, and he he like he starts like juking and like shaking and like <laughs> looking for a bush to die behind. He does physically respond to words. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to. Uh, he needs to. Tax his eyeballs eighty percent because yeah. they they bug out, man. He texted yeah. me this shit on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he does not give a fuck about right, Christmas. He yeah, yeah. Well, he should respect our God. I agree. Yeah. I feel if he's gonna come over here to our country, he should assimilate. When do we pray on uh, this podcast? When uh, does the prayer? Begin? We used to. I think that we've kind of phased out. We used to do prayer. Yeah. Well, on the, I don't on think we ever did a streams. prayer on a uh, coward hour. I think. That was a Floor Boys thing, right? That's right. I don't even know if I want to bring up Floor Boys. Oh yeah, we, but we can't get we can't get certain listeners all riled up. Well, but wait, <laughs> listen to this. This was. <laughs> I want you to know something. <laughs> We're gonna die, Robbie. Oh yeah. I baby. think it's great, man. I, I I was eating. This was. I got these. I, I was in the middle of. Uh, we have like a Christmas Eve tradition in my house where my grandparents come all the way from Florida, and they, mm-hmm. my grandfather reads the night before Christmas as we all eat cookies and everything in the living room. Yeah. And as I'm as I'm like getting like misty eyed, right. enjoying this moment, <laughs> <laughs> I get two messages that just say, "Dude, I hate being a man so much." I need to castrate myself <laughs> <laughs> from Ari Kaplan. Oh my god! One time Man. he, I, one time he told me how much he disrespected the Constitution, and I got <laughs> furious. Yeah. Fuck up, <laughs> what did he do? He, he was like, "Look, the founding fathers were fucking idiots, dude." I'm, uh, I, I didn't, and then I, I turned into Ooh, like, I a, am Steve. I turned into a reaction. I turned to Jordan Peterson for a second. <laughs> I was like, "Well, to buckle your shoes, there, Bucko." Or I don't know, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what is he saying? I think it'd be fun as an experiment to just drop like any one of our dads into like the group chat for one day. Just like put any man of age into a situation where he he sees how. We communicate with each other. Yeah. Well, you know that. Let me tell you something that happened to me. Let me explain this to you. What? So I've talked about my my best friend who passed away on this on this podcast yeah. before. Uh, yeah. So we I had a chat with him on Facebook 
just like ours. Just at, like where sometimes I would literally just send him messages like, "Ooh, I want you to fuck my little pussy." I uh-huh. would just like say things. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So when he <laughs> passed away, yeah, just like ours. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, when you, you <laughs> sexually explicit DMs at two a.m. that you send all of us. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I mean? Just shit that if your parents saw it, they would never understand it. Yeah, there'd so, be no explanation. No explanation. So after he died, yeah. Um, like I guess you, you know, your parents get can they, they can get access to your Facebook account, so yeah. Manage after you die, yeah. So yeah. I, I got a Facebook message from him like four days after he died. Uh-huh. It, it was just it was uh, the letter K, and I was like, that was weird. And then like he, I got a message that was like, sorry Nick, this is Sean's dad. I just got into I'm in his Facebook. I didn't mean to send that. And then I realized that he had full access to yeah. everything. That, <laughs> and like even the last thing that we had sent, where I was talking about, I, I don't even want. I'm the ghost of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I hope all of his family heard that bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah Sean's entire family listens to this yeah. cast, I'm sure. It's, Rest it, in peace, Sean. You were my best friend. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. And then, like, his, <laughs> la- later, I had, like, when I was having, like, a heart to heart with his mom one time, she alluded to the fact that she had, like, read our chats, and she goes, and yeah, and some of the stuff you boys were talking about on there, <laughs> she goes, oh, no. I just, I don't know what to make of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I think my dad would just be baffled if he read. Like, because we, we, we talk in such a, a language that's like, I don't know. Especially, well, Ari. It's pretty gay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gay. Ours is gay, gay. And then Ari will text me about how Mao's thought gives him the courage to do open mics. <laughs> 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 Which is truly the most, the most cowardly sentence anyone has ever spoken. Mao the attended. worst of both worlds. <laughs> Yeah. Like aspiring artist lefty. If, if, if Mal, Mal saw yeah. Ari at an open mic, he'd be like, you go jail now. Yeah. You go to jail right now. Clearly a landlord. <laughs> Cut his head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Jewish deception. <laughs> Woody Allen. I love Manhattan. That's the other way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he loves Woody Allen. Yeah, he was a big, oh, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to cut off your head, doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. They're going to mm. cut off my head. <laughs> <laughs> you only soon you would stick up for him. Oh yeah, that's He's right. Got, she that's would. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, this is my head to cut off. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Uh, I think that would, you that would be the ultimate me too. Is if soon ye finally me too's Woody Allen. <laughs> it's like a final <laughs> smash in Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we all. She's glowing right now. We're all waiting for her to I final. I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To finally unreach my power. It would be great. Wait, <laughs> I don't know. We can. I don't think we should be really releasing this episode. <laughs> I don't think Sunyi. It would talks be better like if Woody on his deathbed. <laughs> Why would that be? Funny? That's right. is not. She's <laughs> not Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> she's American, right? Yeah. That's, the, that's that's the whole reason people are mad is because they think she's his daughter. So it'd be weird if. Woody Allen raised uh, raised his daughter with a Chinese accent. To speak with a Chinese accent. Yeah, d- d- He's I, like, ju- oh, I like well, it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I only speak in a Chinese accent around her. That way people will think she's adopted. <laughs> <laughs> it would be great. I think that the, the genius move is for Woody Allen on his deathbed to me too soon, ye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I never wanted it. Did I never she, 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 she louied me. <laughs> 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 she walked up in front of me and masturbated. <laughs> It'd be great if like Louis was just like a timeless thing. Like you, you read some news, some newspaper article from like the eighties. It's like Woody Allen, Louis C. K. <laughs> You're like, huh? I wonder what that's gonna mean. <laughs> yeah. Louis read that in the paper. I was like, mm, this is a good idea. Yeah, that's, why, that's why he changed his last name. Yeah, like, Celeski. Celeski. Yeah. 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 There's this dude who comes in my job with Louis's real last name. Sizelski. Yeah, whatever? and he's like an old dude with red hair, and I, I every day I want to ask him, like, are you fucking Louis C.K.'s brother? You no. Know. <laughs> fucking tell me. Yeah. Wow. That would be so cool. He's yeah. like, I'm not his fucking cunt brother, okay? Stop asking me. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, my brother, he's fuck, he's shitty. I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> you like, can't just be my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't do it. I'd love just to just, be its brother. Yeah. That would be great. That's the thing. Just things just don't happen that way. But no. I love I love my daughters. You, I love my fucking yeah, daughters. Yeah, I have two daughters. Uh <laughs> <laughs> just and they're fucking Louis. shitty. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Louis in the worst disguise ever, just yeah. changing his first name. I'll pretend to be my brother. <laughs> my name is uh, Louis. Well, my uh, daughters. My daughters have. I have two daughters. They have two cunts, and it's mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> they have mm, delicious cunts. They do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we're doing Damn, a lot this, of fucking impressions. This is a hot cat. Yeah. And Robbie does this. Oh, this is exciting because uh, I have a cafe I Americana. A, I'm ready to go. I, I I'm going to go through every Me too celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a confession to make to you, Robbie. Yeah. Uh, we've never met until today. Yeah. Uh, for the listener, Robbie and I have been in the same group chat <laughs> for a year. A year now. And, yeah. Uh, we've never met until today. And Robbie will very often send, uh, <laughs> you'll send voice memos to us yeah. if you're doing impressions. Yeah. And I've never once listened to one of them. <laughs> Why? They're so good. Good. Oh, they oh they're so well, now good. I'm like, oh, this guy's good at impressions. <laughs> no, Tony Soprano, mad about the pizza outfit, is one of the funniest things. What was the pizza outfit? Yeah, my culture is not your fucking. Oh yeah, culture. yeah, yeah. I see all these guys at Halloween. They're dressing up <laughs> in the pizza outfit. My culture is not your fucking costume. <laughs> <laughs> if I see you dress up as a pizza man again, I'm gonna fucking blog about it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Look at Luigi. This man, it's just a fucking dancing up there. It's an insult to my culture. <laughs> Woke Tony Soprano. Is so <laughs> yeah, I'm a part time. I'm freelance for Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Judge Bell, babe, done that. <laughs> All the shit you were doing were hard. Just Harvey, at, he's at the bing. He's like, eh, put put a sweater on. <laughs> 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 and someone's. I saw all these men taking advantage of women in the DMs. <laughs> 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 Tony Soprano's body positive. <laughs> he's not losing he is the a, weight. He I is love a body my, positive icon. He's a thick king. He's yeah. a very fat man. He constantly fucks. Yeah, it doesn't work if you're a fat man who only who's superficial though. You have to be a fat couple. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh yeah. You yeah. It doesn't count as woke if you're a fat guy that fucks hot girls. That's not body that, positive. That's right because that's actually the patriarchy. Yeah. That's Kevin, yeah. Kevin James taught you that. That's how that yeah. works. I've also learned today that posting a fat <laughs> a, bo- a for and after fat photo is is like you probably, can't do you that. Can't do that. Yeah. Why are you? If you work on yourself at all, you yeah. should be sent to the gulags. Yeah, you should mm-hmm. be sent to fucking prison. Yeah, yeah. I posted Every- one three days ago, and you know now I'm canceled. You're yeah, fucking can- you were. F- a f- also, yeah. Robbie, you. I want you to know, you, Robbie harps on himself for being a fat guy. Saw Robbie without a shirt while I was staying in his apartment in New York. Uh, the ideal body type. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I think, <laughs> Robbie, I think that you're literally, I think you have like girl brain. I think you have like bulimia. I definitely have something. girl brain. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> you have like body dysmorphia, dude. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're yeah. mentally ill, you dope. <laughs> well, Fitness is bad, though. I think we can yeah, all agree. Yeah, if you get fit, what are you fucking doing? I mm-hmm. agree. Every day I go to Planet Fitness, and while I'm up there on the Stairmaster, a big, round, blue-haired woman is just frowning and looking me in my eyes. I watch, she stands there right next to me. I'll, goes, mm. I Google uh, videos of fat girls with blue hair eating a lot of ice cream, and I go, this is brave. <laughs> I yeah. mean, why, the fu- why would I support the troops when I'm already doing this? Yeah. These are the- yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine... Just being that brave. <laughs> being that brave. <laughs> being so brave that you had a third helping. Oh, yeah. my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this true. is a mean podcast. This yeah. is maybe the meanest episode we've yeah. ever uh, Who cares? I liked on Stav's Instagram story, he had a Planet Fitness hat on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you look like a planet, but not Planet Fitness. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, cut that out. No, we, no, we don't cut, cut anything out. Oh. I do. I, I mean, we've only cut out. Two things. One was Paige made us because she made a funny joke and she got mad at it herself. It wasn't even. A, it wasn't even bad. It was, yeah. it was like a good joke. I think she just yes ended my joke. Yeah, I think I just. I just well, said, you know, you, you guys acknowledged that the Holocaust happened. Mm-hmm. It would be com- like, which is what you're supposed oh, to do. Oh, now I got what you cut it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, we everyone agrees that at least. Four and a half million Jews died in the Holocaust. That At least everyone agrees with that. Everyone, yeah, it's and like, we would never take it away from those three million Jews that that <laughs> happened. I, for one, would like to work in this town, so I do disavow this riff. It's atrocious <laughs> that they would kill twenty thousand Jews. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny Look, to, if, to Jew down the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, if if one of my ancestors was one of those four hundred Jews who died, <laughs> I would be livid at us talking Look, like this. Seven but. Jews went missing, <laughs> yeah. but. <laughs> There's a rumor that they just went on vacation yeah. and Look, didn't tell anybody. I think it's sad that those three Jews had a half day at work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tragedy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what the, the menorah is, right? It's the eight candles for one of every Jew that died in the Holocaust. <laughs> 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 missing. Each of the Jews that missed yeah, lunch. Yeah, and each one... <laughs> You know, the eight Jews, Harvey Weinstein, Brett Ratner. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, Woody's in there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be some sort of council of Jews, right? 
Yeah. yeah. I think, yes. I mean, <laughs> it's, called called the, a, it's called the New World it's, Order. They're it's bankers. called every Hollywood meeting. <laughs> Folks. Folks. Oh. I'm just kidding. I just, mm-hmm. I, keep, I have to stop talking about the, because uh, every podcast, I was a guest on a podcast when I was back in Baltimore, and yeah. like literally within the first 10 minutes, I was like, the pedophile elite actually <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I've gone through this whole podcast. I've been pod- talking about this so much. <laughs> it's hard not to talk about. It's, I know. Like, once, listen, once you become woke like us to what's really going on in this country. Yeah. <laughs> we just take the word woke. Yeah. <laughs> woke <laughs> means what I am now. Yeah, that's like Trump with fake news. Remember, <laughs> remember, fake news started like a Democratic talking point, and yes. it was like fake news is what got Trump elected. He's like, that sounds good. It's mine now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so good. And it's and by the way, it's you who did. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can learn a lot from him. He's I think. so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's doing a good he, job. He's Love doing or hate it. him. As I famously said on yeah. that poker game, I think two years ago, yeah. the thing about Donald Trump is he's fucking doing a good well, job. Well, it started off as you saying, hey, do not be rude. I said, don't be rude. Because I, yeah. I was president. being mean to the president. Right. And you said, don't be rude. And that changed everything for Change me. Yeah, yeah. You got to be polite to the president. Yeah. You said, love him or hate him, do not be rude. <laughs> and also, he's doing a good yeah, job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I might disapprove of Trump for the first time ever. Uh, in like 10 days or whatever because I'm going to Yosemite and if it's closed, I'll be fucking pissed. It, yes, it is closed. Yeah, no, it's closed. It's, it's famously closed. It's closed the whole way? Yes, Br- Brendan. I thought parts of it were closed. It's also covered in trash. Ah, fuck. I thought that was um Joshua Tree. Uh, Yellowstone and Yosemite. Uh, Do you realize that this is like the bizarro Trump reality that everyone predicted? Like, yeah, Yosemite's going to be covered in trash <laughs> and <laughs> McDonald's is going to be in the White House. <laughs> and, like, so sick. He put, they were, they had packets of barbecue sauce and these like silver like decanters. Yeah. Like, which is honestly that's very likable. Yeah, it, it's so likable. It's, it's honestly. He's a man of the people. I mean, that's what I voted for, you know? <laughs> Up till now, he's been a huge disappointment. <laughs> but the, <laughs> yeah, McDonald's dinner. The minute I saw that in those mountains of Big Macs, I was like, this is what I, I mean, that's, it's incredible. It's yeah. incredible. But I, I hope Louie does to, the correspondence dinner <laughs> this year. <laughs> Uh, no notes, I Mr. Like President. I would to book my favorite comedian, <laughs> <laughs> Louis C.K., who's Nynan done nothing wrong. Dan did the wrong. fucking inauguration. I know. He would, yeah, he did. He did one of the inaugural <laughs> balls. Damn, we got to get him on here. Do you see Trump lied about the burgers? When he did the meeting, he said, there's 300 burgers here. And then later when he tweeted it, he was like, I bought over 1,000 burgers. <laughs> it's like, who wasn't? He was like, damn, 300, not impressive. Yeah, but there was a... There was Someone a else made that fucking, point. That's not my original There was a fucking lame-ass yeah. article, though. Don't do that, Rob. They, they, were, they were like fact-checking. <laughs> like fact uh, and this is where, like... Yeah, Donald Trump's a bad president. I get it. But well, don't come on. say that, Nick. Come on, I man. know. I, I shouldn't be saying dude, that. Dude, come on, dude. I Dig to... your heels in. Oh, Look, God. people don't listen to this podcast because they think Trump's a good president. They listen because they think that us doing edgy jokes is us dog whistling to them that their evil beliefs are correct. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I, there was just there was an article that was fact-checking the shit that he said, and they, he, the, I guess at some point he said, we have burgers stacked a mile high, and they fact-checked that. They're like, uh, actually, 300 burgers wouldn't... Eat. And I was like, what are we fucking doing? <laughs> like, well, I just, it's hot. Like, I saw somebody who uh, Coward Hour follows uh, went on a retweeting spree where, like, um, literally 500 separate people on Twitter were like, because I guess he tweeted hamburgers instead yeah. of hamburgers. And they're like, mm, hamburger, I'm going to wash down my hamburger with a, with a cup of kofefe. Hamburger sounds like something you would have with your kofefe in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like, a hundred of this. And I yeah. read this for a good 10 minutes. I was like, I'm glad he's president. I hope that he does 14 more years. <laughs> 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 yeah, I did that because yeah. I thought it was funny because he said he misspelled country. He said country, country, tree, con, con, country, try, try, or yeah. something like that. And I thought that's funny. Let me see what people. And then I just, just Twitter searched it, and every single joke about it, not a single win. None. Every single, not a single. Everyone was a whiff. The president is so much better at Twitter than every he's, liberal. He's, <laughs> the shit that he was saying about Elizabeth Warren, it was like a Chris Rock bit. She thanks him for being there. It's his house. He's supposed to be That's there. That's what's crazy. That's so, so funny. Yeah. That's what's so crazy about his rallies. It's like, oh, man, what you're saying is so repulsive, but I respect the bit. He's like, he does incredible act outs. Yeah. Oh, my God. Any guy who does a body slam, that's yeah. my guy. Like that Kavanaugh thing, I remember I was, I was so mad about it, and it was like a really weird, it was a very divisive moment. But then you watch him, he's like, 
She's up there. She's like, what do I, where was I? I don't remember. Where am I going? I don't remember. What's the day is it? I don't remember. Oh, what do you remember? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a big applause. I was like, wow, like that, is so bit. Ho- <laughs> that is so horrifying and so much better crafted than everything I've seen at Mike's this I entire year. I don't have a closer that that's strong. No, me neither. I, I haven't written anything that good. <laughs> it's un- I've never done stand-up. <laughs> yeah, it makes my shit look gimmicky by he, comparison. Like, oh my, it, it's just like. That was like Steve Harvey level craftsmanship. He's incredible. Yeah. He's so good at being on television. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's unstoppable. Name another president whose rallies you've ever watched. Who continues to do rallies. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, who has done shows after they got elected. I think oh what I think God. we need to do is... Also, um, what is... Yeah, I don't know. See, I'll say that off mic. Yeah, he's only got two years left or whatever. We need to slow down the earth to make those years, years. last longer. <laughs> it's like, the, here's what pisses me off about... It's been nonstop pleasure since he's been elected. <laughs> yeah. Here, here's, here's what pisses me off about Trump. It's like, it's the fact that like we've let ourselves become hysterical which like i just don't think that you should yes. yeah it's not good but like i mean people believe that like my roommates gen- are trying to get me to believe that like donald trump can't read at all he can't <laughs> read i'm like the man is famous for writing his own tweets what are you fucking talking about do you think that like he's waking somebody up at 3 a.m. to tweet for him? you think that yeah. he's literally- i mean if he's doing that that's awesome i would <laughs> yeah. love him if this, even more if what he's tweeting out is like the cleaned up someone else punches it up <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I love it's just <laughs> he can fucking read. That's a crazy thing to like earnestly believe. Yeah. Well, it's because Pete Davidson spread the rumor that he can't read. Yeah. He was like, when he was at SNL, he couldn't read anything. That's fucking retarded. Yeah. Yeah. Famously we, correct man. Pete yeah. Davidson. yeah. He never lied about anything. Oh, <laughs> Pete, Pete Davidson, the man with the perfect brain. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely doesn't have a disease yeah. that's known for spreading lies yeah. in order to get attention. The, the famous rich man with a woman's disease. <laughs> <laughs> BPD is to oh women. My God. As like, oh my no. god! It'd be like if you found out a white dude had sickle cell. You'd be like, well, I mean, that's it's not wrong of him, but it's a little How confusing. How did that happen? Pete's gonna be like, I have a yeast infection too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, having BPD as a man, it's like finding out someone has breast cancer. You're like, that's serious, but also it sounds I like can't, it shouldn't work. I can't do SNL anymore. I'm going through menopause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you, was it you who said? I, didn't you once in the chat you called uh, borderline personality disorder? You just called it bad person disease. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think is. that might have been. <laughs> that was, I don't know if that was me. That might have been me. I've heard, I, 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 that's a, that's a thought that I had independently when I was dealing. <laughs> it's with It's such it. an easy <laughs> thing to get to. I mean, so many. It, I mean, you I, is it real? Is it real? It, it is real. It is. Re- it's not. Yeah. It's here's the thing. It's not. Um. It's not. It's a. Men, it's an interesting mental illness because it's not inherited. It ha, it comes from trauma. Right. So like the, I guess similar the way like PTSD. Like you don't. You're not born with PTSD. But right. Like things. It's a type of PTSD. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's definitely real. It's that, definitely real. I thought because oh, it's someone, real. <laughs> oh, no, that shit is fucking real. Someone was saying it's like an invented thing. Just like you're just a bad. It's just a way to diagnose just like being a bad person or no, something. Well, mm-hmm. it's it's hard to treat it. Like that's the th- because like yeah. people with borderline are so good at manipulating and so but they also don't it, th- there are like there are characteristics that are like definitely recognizable that are not sociopathy or whatever right 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 yeah it. totally um interesting it's a fucking interesting thing yeah. I don't know what you what you do for it um uh, yeah just <laughs> All right, yeah, <laughs> fascist I know, Brandon I'm not, I will also say I know some people with borderline who like got it together. Yeah, I do. I know one person with boy, who j- definitely had borderline who got it together. Yeah, who, who she lives out here actually? She's a nice person. Who was it? Well, I'm not fucking name them. <laughs> no, name them. Did she get it together or did you stop fucking her? No, I never fucked her. Oh, okay, because yeah. I can see how if you stop fucking the person, maybe you'll be like, oh, she kind of got it together. That all that's also <laughs> true. I can say that's also true, but. It's wild to me how many people with industry success in our industry also have horrifying personality disorders. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that's the way to succeed. Yeah. Narcissism, mm-hmm. you know, sociopathy, yeah. borderline, and they're all like... Step on everyone's head. Yeah, and, um, and they're all killing it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I and think. they're so funny. Yeah, they're all they really, funny, really funny, and I love all of them. But that, but are you shocked like that? Of course, those are the kind of people that are. Yeah, I mean that's to that's comedy. that's not just comedy either. I mean it, it's it actually does seem especially comedy, yeah. but also like like Donald Trump's a pathological narcissist and mm-hmm. all right. Just pump the fucking brakes, yeah. dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why right. would you? I mean, comedy. Why would you say anything? <laughs> other wait, wait, wait. And, her, and that's good. That's yeah, good. And, and it's good. He's we using like his him. powers for good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> he um, has such a strong brain. Yes. That's what I... So you were saying that... Uh, in comedy, everyone at the top has these horrible like disorders and stuff. Yeah, that's why I kind of sometimes I like being unsuccessful because yeah. then I look around at my circles. I'm like, what a bunch of swell guys. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> very nice, oh, well adjusted. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that, Down here at the bottom, it's yeah. a fucking party, dude. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't like comedians. I don't like them. What about Kenny Lyon? <laughs> Oh, I don't. I've never seen Kenny Lyon live. I don't think I've only <laughs> oh, heard boy. stories. All right. Oh, is that the guy who like posts lists of a hundred people? Yeah, oh, I made, I made yeah. the list last year. That's awesome. I didn't make it this year. I guess I, did I was see sad. That. I was sad I didn't yeah. make it. I don't think he knows who I am. I gotta send him a tape or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting to get worried about the Chinese impression. Now, here's the thing: why I'm worried about the. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you? This is so insecure. Why? I'm not worried that it was offensive. I'm worried that mine wasn't very good. No, okay. it was good. It well, made me want to get in on it. Yeah, well, earlier so? I did a bad JP impression, and then I said, I'm doing JP. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I didn't even catch that. Yeah, I've no one caught it. My head. Also, we is... moved on. I was like, is no one, no one going to pounce on me for that? No, huh? dude. No, this is what we would do if we were just hanging out, you know? This yeah, is, yeah. It, it's The listener is a fly on the wall but right I now. Want, I want to be good. Here's the thing. I'm like, Nick, I should. You got to get on Zoloft. You stop reconsidering any words you say. No, Whatever you say, you're just like, that was the right choice. Brendan, if I didn't reconsider things, it, that would not be good. Yeah. Yeah, see, I thought that, but things are going pretty good for me right things now. Things got a lot better in my life when I finally, because I think there was a long time in my life yeah. where I just didn't reconsider anything. And then around 22, I started to reconsider. And I was like, and when I like. Well, lo- yeah, that's growing up. I I'm, know. You, you still. <laughs> <laughs> but when I looked back at like the th- all the times I wasn't considering, I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why was anybody friends with me? Yeah, empathy's good. I'm glad that you picked some of that up over the years you have it's good to have because listen my sociopathic tendencies have certainly mm-hmm. yeah yeah i've had a me. listener uh try to diagnose you before what <laughs> are, you, are you kidding no someone dm me and they were like uh i forgot what they said i think they said antisocial personality disorder <laughs> that's what tony soprano has wait a minute i should not have shared this <laughs> wait 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 what, what? <laughs> i have antisocial what how? That's what serial killers. Oh, you're are. always like the thing about me is I'm great at manipulating people and I love to do it. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's I mean it can be. Yeah. No, you're like my brain is powerful and I'm better than everyone. But that's that might just that just means that you're good at reading people. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. All right. Yeah, but most people wouldn't take pride that. Just in means that, that you're like, good at reading people. Yeah, yeah. The Rockefellers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I told you guys that I fa- I want to give you guys the sociopath test because I you know I failed it right away. Really, I, I guessed it. So the socio, if you guys get this, okay, it means you're sociopaths. If you don't get it, is this a funeral you know, thing? Yeah, it's a funeral. I, thing. So, I know the so answer. You know that. Yeah. Let me give it to Brendan. All right, what is it? All right, uh, so uh, this girl's mother died. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a funeral for her, and like all these people, like acquaintances came, like acquaintances of the family came, and she was meeting people. And she met this really amazing guy there, and they like hit it off, and they talked for like two hours, and she really like felt a connection with this guy. Um, and she was like, I want to see you again. He's like, I will. But then he left, he forgot to give her his number, and she had no way of knowing how she was going to reach him again. The next week, her father died. What happened? Uh, the dude killed her father, so that. He could go to the funeral and meet her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, no, that's sort of right. The girl killed her own father so that she could meet the dude again. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people that I've said, like, I, I gave that to Dom, and he's like, that doesn't make any sense. What what would have happened? And I was like, oh, don't you see? Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's not a real test. I didn't get it it's, either, yeah. Oh, you didn't get it no, at all? I didn't get it's it. It's so obvious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, but that's like a riddle. It yeah, is like you know a, I, mean? I think part of it. They also, don't give you riddles when they're dying. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think it's. I think it's the just other... Jim Carrey's Riddler and a bunch of sociopaths. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, Riddle me this. I, d- I Jeffrey Dahmer. I gave that test to Ben, my friend mm-hmm. Ben, and he got it, and his girlfriend didn't get it. But then, like the way we rationalized it was like, well, that's also just like something that would happen in a movie, and we watch a lot of movies. Does yeah. That, that was. Yeah. Uh, does that make? I don't know if that makes I sense mean, at all. It, that was how we. It like, is just kind of it. like also how you would plot it out if you were writing a script. <laughs> right. Um, but it was so obvious. Did me. I ever tell you once when I was um, unemployed in in Lancaster? This was when I was like an alcoholic and a fuck up and everything. I signed up for this psychological study, where they just uh, I had to go to a college and they put me in a room and they hooked up um, like what are they called? Fucking EKGs. E- yeah, the little uh, I know all about suction those. cups. They put those all over me and then they just showed me different footage and didn't explain why. Wait, did you get money for this? I did get money for so this. So you've done medical studies? Yeah, yeah. 
But uh, so they just showed me like uh, it, it would alternate it'd be like comedies and then it would just be like horrific gore. And then I would just, I would look and they would just, they would just be like nodding. At me. Wait, 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 they, I can't believe you made that's so much crazier than anything I've done. That is that's like something out of like Clockwork Orange. Brendan, how, yeah. are, how are you have so many details yes, about so your many life? Details. I, I completely forgot. I, 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 I don't think bubbling to the surface. every other day it's like, yeah, and then, you know, I got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've thought about that in like three years. I forgot that happened. Until that's you said that. crazy. All they did was fucking administer shots to me. Okay. They made you watch gore? Yeah. And just we're just like, what do you think? Yeah, and I was like, uh, they didn't even ask me what I thought. So they just showed it to me, and then they gave me some, they gave me some money. <laughs> <laughs> how much I had to sign a bunch of forms. How much are we talking? It was like 20 bucks. It was That's like, it? That's like a very low amount. You stink. Brendan I think thought it was, sex I think come. it was college kids doing this. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, well. I, I, mean, I still got all my blood. I will say, yeah, it's not as bad as what Nick did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick, got, uh, you got there's no spinal fluid yeah, involved. Nick, the first time you came over here and we tried to <laughs> podcast, you laid in my bed because all the fluid from your brain was leaking, was into, leaking your ass. into your ass, <laughs> into my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know? I read that uh, doing keto actually increases the cerebral spinal fluid that encases your brain. Huh. So I might maybe I'll go keto. You doing keto now? Has this? I uh, might. Has the huh. fluid not come back? No, it comes. Robbie, your body makes so much fluid. <laughs> it's, it's it's like brain piss, all right? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope yeah, so. Yeah. I, hope so for your I have sake. to go to the bathroom so that my brain can piss every yeah. hour. It was. <laughs> when I saw you after the first time in a while, I was like, this guy looks like he has less fluid in his brain. <laughs> yeah. No, my brain is my brain is so great. If anything, I kinda my brain is so powerful that it was good to take it down a peg yeah, so that it right. stayed humble. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. yeah, it's yeah. like handicapping type Famously woods. humble <laughs> man, Nick Oldershaw. Yeah. <laughs> I would it, it humbled me a little bit. I needed to be humbled. <laughs> Sometimes, if you when your brain gets too, but when you start to get uh, a too high of opinion of yourself, you just bump your brain against your skull a few times, and mm-hmm. yeah, that, come back that being said, the dumbest people have the most self confidence. So I don't know about that. That's yeah. not true. Yeah, it is. Look at our president. Oh, you're right. He's very smart. He's incredibly smart. He's very smart. smart and very humble, though. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> I should get another concussion. You're right. Did you have a concussion? I think so, but I never went to the hospital, so I don't know. <laughs> You have to go to the hospital when you have a concussion. Yeah, that's like a top you, ten. I, I feel like a, <laughs> that's like a top five did, reasons to go to the I hospital. Tell this, I just did I tell this story afterwards? on the cast where I got into a car accident and I wouldn't let the ambulance look at me? No. no what? what the fuck is... I can't believe I, I let you criticize me for anything. Okay, so I was like uh, I was like 21 or whatever. I was driving home from my friend Lee's house, and I hadn't even been drinking. I was just tired. I have heard this, but not on the cast. Not on the cast. Okay, so I'm driving... And uh, I'm playing, uh, uh, Nick, did you get XPN in Baltimore, that radio station? No. It's like a college radio station out of Philly. I would hear it when I would come do shows in Philly, though. Okay, yeah. Well, they would. They, they had this one show on there called Echoes that it started at, like, t- midnight or something. And it was just very chill, ambient music. I'm aware be, of this. A, yeah, a guy would come on, he'd be like, now this next performer is from Iceland, and he invented his own kind of harp that sucks. And then they would play, <laughs> like, <laughs> they would play it, and it would be really bad. Uh, so I was, I was driving, I was listening to that, and it was really putting me in like a chill space. And I, I decide I'm, I'm so tired that I, I'm thinking like maybe I can close one eye and drive. Oh, I no. thought I could drive like so. I'm like leaning. I'm like kind of oh, half no, asleep. Dude. This was before the concussion. Before the concussion. Yeah, this was. This was tip top. <laughs> You're trying to be half asleep. You're trying to put the left <laughs> yeah, side. Yeah, how does that even asleep? work? What are you I don't know. Retarded? You're just giving I yourself don't. impaired vision. I, I don't you, know. So what maybe I, I have no. I think depth this was perception. back when I was on a lot of concerta. So I was I was basically on math all the time. Jesus Christ. Um, oh yeah. So, yeah yeah. So anyway, uh, so I just I plow through a red light. I t bone this car. The car immediately behind that car is a cop. Oh fuck. So, so I just fucking destroy this car and the cop is just like still at the red light and he just like pissed off immediately turns on his yeah the siren so he, he gets out and you know uh, i'm not drunk in it the other guy was drunk so he was like super yeah <laughs> cool. oh my god yeah. everything like like the cop went back to his car and he's like hey man i'm kind of drunk be cool <laughs> this is like out of a coen brothers movie <laughs> this is like <laughs> yeah so so the the cop you know he comes and he, he calls an ambulance and uh, I had a concussion, so I forgot that I had health insurance. And uh, <laughs> so he's like, all right, the ambulance is going to look at you. And I was like, nah. <laughs> and he's like, what? No, it's really important. And I'm like, 
Am I legally required? I start like fucking. You start sovereign citizen. <laughs> I start <laughs> sovereign citizen, <laughs> and I'm like, am I legally required to let the ambulance look at me? And he's like, oh, God damn, I guess not. I'm like, okay. So then I start, uh, I start uh, walking home, and he's like, Well, let me call you a taxi. And this was before Uber or whatever. Yeah. So in my head, I was like, Oh, a taxi? That's got to be like three hundred dollars. <laughs> I have no idea. So I'm just like, no, I'll walk. And he's like, where do you live? So I I give him my address, and he looks it up, and he's like, it's like an hour walk. Oh, my God, dude. And uh, he's like, no, I'm going to call you a taxi. I'm like, oh, I don't want to pay for a taxi. I'm going to walk. So I just, like, walk off into the night with a concussion. And Jesus Christ. He gets so he gets so worried about me. He's He, he like, angrily is like, fine, I'll fucking, I'll, like, I didn't even want him to offer. He's like, I'll drive you home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so i get in the back and like i i've never been in a cop car before so i'm like where's the seatbelt?" he's like there aren't any like <laughs> fucking like, <turns laughs> the radio real loud so i can't talk to him <laughs> and then he drops me over my house i'm like thank you and he's just like oh, fucking he's, so, he's just so angry <laughs> <laughs> your yeah. life sucks so bad yeah, so, yeah, so then i i go outside and i look in the mirror you know, I'm kind of scuffed up, and I remember looking in the mirror and being like... You just left the car there. <laughs> just left the car there. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the car. I never saw it again. Really? Uh, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> yeah, it was totaled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> were you living at home at this time? Or were yeah, you... yeah. All right, anyway, so tell, the, tell, the, the, tell the story. Tell yeah. the story. I'm sure yeah, you'll yeah. get to it. So, I, so I'm looking in the mirror, and I remember <laughs> thinking, like, huh, why is one of my pupils bigger than the other one? And then I went to sleep. You are not supposed to go to sleep. Well, now they think you are. (laughs) What is this new information? I read this recently. They think that you're supposed to. But the, Wait, the, so why the, didn't you want the ambulance to look at you? He thought he didn't have health insurance. I thought oh. I didn't have health insurance. Oh, it's a money. I a, yeah, I had a concussion, so I was like, well, I, I guess I don't have insurance. You were 20. Of course you had insurance. Of course I had insurance. insurance. Yeah. That's... That uh, you, they wait. They think you're supposed to go to sleep now. I feel like this is another thing that you read on one of these forums about yeah. how they. Right, I could have. I could have dreamt yeah. some sort of medical journal while you had a concussion. Like, like yeah, I could still have that concussion. <laughs> your concussion was just telling you it's fine. Yeah. Don't see anybody. Everything's fine. Uh, Brandon, there's no reason to worry about anything. I wonder. How are you alive? <laughs> like, this is, it's not like, like this is, anyone else, that would be the biggest thing in their life. This is like a top 15 story for you. Yeah, not even top 15, Robbie. Not even, yeah, to, I, I, I'm not even putting this in my top 15 <laughs> Brendan stories. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is exciting for are me. Are you sure, the- Brendan, are you sure that you're depressed or is, is your brain still just like bruised? Eh, I think it's fine. You think it's I, fine? I, definitely all the binge drinking did way more damage than that concussion. You, you think, think so? so? Yeah, I blacked out like dozens and dozens and dozens. But th- of I times. don't think that alcohol really like kills your brain cells like they say. I think the brain is more. Elastic Blacking than out like, is really bad. It's for really you. bad. Yeah, Robbie, you black out, right? I don't black out. Yeah, Robbie, no, black I'm out. strong. I've I browned out for sure. Wow. I get drunk and Robbie, forget things. <laughs> you you brown, you never you, black out. Yeah, I brown out. I am brown the, the, the brown ambition. <laughs> <laughs> when, when Robbie's grinding on a girl, the cold like he's browning the fuck out right now. Dude, yeah. He's really no, horny. It takes a, it's a, it's when a, Robbie a, likes all, all the Instagram <laughs> yes, posts, when, he's browning out. When he's just when he's leaving comments like "You're so pretty, show me Bob and Virginia." I'm like, he's browning the fuck out right now. Thank you, big girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's browning out, baby. Yeah. <laughs> is Robbie our first diverse guest? Uh, no, Paige is like a queer woman, I guess. <laughs> that does not count. <laughs> And I barely count, by the way. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and Ari, white lady. That's and diverse. Ari is a renegade Jew. He is a renegade. He's a renegade yeah. Jew. Yeah. yeah, that's true. He's a renegade Jew. Yeah. <laughs> He's a renegade Jew. Uh, yeah. Robbie, fucking. Brand- and, and Robbie, what are you? I'm half Afghani, so you can't cancel me, folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's actually good. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Although, actually, they get they go after. They're they're tearing down the POC men these days. What is yeah, going on? Yeah, Kevin Hart, uh, Twenty One Savage. It's so weird when a time when rappers have to apologize for lyrics again. It's like, is this fucking? Here's the fucking. Let me tell you something though. I'm at least, <laughs> at least it's consistent. Oh God, racism. It, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, <laughs> look, the there official coward hour stance is things should stay the way they've always been. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, at least it because like it did irk me for a long time. It's like, okay, we're gonna criticize Irk's all art. Racist. It is. <laughs> We're going to criticize all art for being like male gazy and misogynistic, yeah. except for hip hop. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, at least there's like, and, and don't get me wrong, I fucking, I love Nick, that was yeah. their reparations. 
It was. Yeah. They, yeah. And, and that's they reparations. Just ran is, out. Yeah. is black guys were allowed to say hoes for an extra fifteen years? Extra yeah. Years. Yeah. Black guys have been problematic. That's why they're the funniest comedians. They that's are. True. They're great. Yeah. <laughs> it goes black men, white men, and then a big gap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I literally like even All right, in LA. Uh, we're gonna cut out the first thing ever. <laughs> we're gonna edit this podcast. No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, it's I do we don't l- cut anything out. No, yeah. Speak your mind, Robbie. Even in LA, I'm like on alt kidding. shows, I don't remember this guy's name, but I remember there was like a black comic at Genghis Cohen, and like it's like a very like alt like woke mic, and he just gets up, and one of his bits is literally, "How you gonna fuck a man?" <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, is that was that Rollo Boykins? <laughs> no, I don't think it was. Rallo okay, because he has that all-time great bit. <laughs> Man, gay sex is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this one, this one dude at Lyric, um, black dude. He went up. I forget what, even what his set was about, but he went up and he was wearing a shirt. I asked him about it. Obviously, it was a shirt he made himself. Of it was a, it was a photo of Donald Trump and OJ Simpson hanging out. Fuck yes, dude. And uh, he just does, he just does his set and it, it bombs. And then afterwards, he's like, "Man, I don't know why they didn't like my set." <laughs> Donald like, Trump. He's just, he's just <laughs> representing. He's representing two innocent kings, dude. Yeah. Never just staring <laughs> at his chest the, first, the entire set. The first black guy I've ever liked. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's that, incredible. That rules. I want Trump to just just go. He sh- he's going to pardon Spacey. He has you know what to. I mean? He has, <laughs> to. He, has to. he has to. He's and they're going to do a fifth revisionist season of House of Cards. <laughs> it's going to be great. Look, this is a, he's a political prisoner. <laughs> it would be amazing if like House of Cards, what is it? The fifth season? Fourth yeah, season? yeah, fifth, fifth season. season. Uh if it I've heard it was horrible by oh, the way. Oh no, this I'm talking about the sixth season. Oh yeah, or whatever. I think Let's it should say, be about um it should start, and it's just Kevin Spacey as himself watching news footage of his accusations, and then it's like the same arc of Kevin Spacey rises to take over Hollywood. Oh, over that's awesome! You're yeah. right, that's better. Obstacles. That's great. Oh, Frank <laughs> He's Underwood, fucking insane. <laughs> did you guys know about that? All those rumors and stuff before? Did because I didn't know about any of that. I knew about until it until it broke. <clears throat> he was living in uh, Savannah Park. Like he he split his time because they would shoot in Annapolis and DC. Yeah, and like he would actually frequent. Uh, the restaurant that my friend worked at and she was like he was always getting like boys to like come and sit with him like he like there was this guy they had with him there i guess they like went to the restaurant together and marie i, I don't care whatever marie marie <clears throat> said like yeah i watched him like forcibly get this boy to like not boy but like yeah a younger man <laughs> right yeah get yeah. him to like sit on his lap like while he was in here. the restaurant yes damn yeah Wow, sounds like my honeymoon. It's a very powerful move. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? I, Robbie, I, you're alone. I zoned out and then I zoned back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin's Spacey. Just auto riff. It, it's also like, it's, That's why they call me Peter Riffin, baby. It's so there's a really there's a really <laughs> weird it. scene. Have you watched Baby Driver? It makes that scene in Baby Driver yeah. where he goes, That's, That's my, my baby. baby. Yeah, it's like, I know, what the dude. Fuck? It's so great. Well, that movie is is, is the best final bang for him to go out on because it's about him taking extreme interest in a young man <laughs> and just like you're gonna work for me, kid. <laughs> and your name is Baby. Until you pay off your debt. <laughs> Damn, that rules. Yeah. That, that's actually I did love that movie, and then I couldn't recommend it to anybody after like six mo- after like four months of it being out. Basically, yeah, I never Why? saw it. I'll only of the Spacey ever know accusations. It. He's like a big part of it. Ah, right? you can fucking recommend it, dude. Yeah. So Spacey, that's not one that the art has suffered. I think you made the point because he always played like a total creep. Yeah, I don't think he's a great actor, honestly. I think he does like four things. Yeah, but I mean, that's a good uh, actor. That Let Me Be Frank video was a great performance. Well, that should be up yeah. for every award. I think yeah. he's really good in American Beauty, even though yeah, I know people don't like I that movie. I don't know if I like American Beauty too much, honestly. Really? I, there are a lot of movies I've been revisiting. Weirdly, yeah. the one that holds up better than I thought it would is Fight Club. Not from a story, but just from like that movie is so carefully put together. Yeah, I mean, David Fincher's amazing. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's just that the fan base was annoying. And, it, and we loved it so much when we were 13. And every yeah. movie I loved intense when I was 13, I'm like, that's probably not very good. But American Beauty is not great. There, he is really, I haven't seen it since high school, honestly. He is really funny. There's a really there's a scene that always makes me laugh where his wife accuses him of losing his job. She's like, I, okay, I didn't lose my job. It's not like, whoops, where'd my job go? I was fired. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, always, like, the way he delivers it is so Yeah, funny. I thought it was a funny performance. Yeah. It's another impressionist. It's funny he hosted the Tonys like two years That's ago. That's right. I forgot that he, <laughs> he does impressions, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. He's like, he does like Jack Lemmon. He does Christopher Walken, yeah. which is fucking hacky. He does all the hack ones, but some of them are good. Jack Lemmon's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, he's great in. 
He's England. Oh yeah, that's right. He's yeah. the fucking. He's the asshole boss. Yeah. Have you ever, he was in a movie. There's a really crazy movie called Swimming with Sharks. Have yeah, you ever seen yeah. It? I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. Where he literally he play literally plays an abusive uh, movie executive. Wow. That's it's cool. it was came so out. He plays, Harvey. plays Harvey. Yes, he's literally yeah. Harvey. <laughs> it's Harvey the movie. Like it's even this. And I think you know what's Finally, crazy. Finally, my time in the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I want to yeah, say, if, what if Harvey tried to come back, but as an actor? <laughs> yeah, that, I, that, I, that's what I've been pitching, man. I want to say that. <laughs> Ever since w- I was a kid, I wanted to be a rapist. Then <laughs> 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 the Goodfellas theme starts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pitch. Thank you. It's thank a pretty you. Hot man. pitch. Oh uh, no, I I thought that swimming with sharks was sharks was uh, produced by mm-hmm. uh, Miramax, but it's not. Yeah, but oh, you, it's got all great. it's got all the Miramax like it's got. You the, told me about that horror movie Harvey wrote. Oh, the burning. <laughs> yeah, was, that George Costanza <laughs> is in. <laughs> That'd be funny if like uh, they made that movie because like if Miramax made it and it was just that they had to. They had to green light a movie that day and they didn't have any pitches and Harvey's just like looking around his office like uh, uh, all right, what do I he just sees a crying woman, he's like, All right, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> the gears are turning. <laughs> yeah. I he love a crying woman, then he turns and he looks at a mirror and he's like, All right, that's act two. <laughs> the greatest piece of journalism is a New York Times article called Where's Harvey, where they find him in Arizona or whatever, and what he's doing, and apparently he's still like Harvey still uses his Rolodex to call up high-powered directors and ask them if they're interested in directing his movie, his side <laughs> of the story. That's amazing. Yeah, so he, I'd watch he's it. He's trying to make a movie. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. He, yeah, he tried to make, he's trying to get a documentary going about himself, like using his yeah, film well, I mean, connections. Uh, same with Louie, you know, you got to address it in your art. So. That's true. So I think Harvey you needs should to... not. <laughs> I think that you should. I think Shouldn't that... you listen to Judd Apatow, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Louie addressing it in his art is a is a trap. <laughs> I really I, do. I, I think agree. They're no... leaving food out. They're all like, just take the food. Yeah, we all want it, and it'll be fine. Just take <laughs> the food. Because that's here's the, 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 the example that they bring up that's a false equivalency. Because uh, Jim Norton, he's like, well, he's like, yeah, Pryor was, for, he pulled a gun on his wife and he was forgiven. And Pete's like, well, he addressed it in his art. It's like, yeah, but that was also the 70s. Yeah. And like, pulling a gun on a woman was like a party trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People didn't yeah. really give a it, shit. It's, it was on level with like, if you yeah. found out someone you liked had a DUI. Yeah. Now, yeah. You'd be like, ah, so now you get, get kind of tuned up. There's, there's <laughs> yeah. no way to. There's no way to. Yeah. I just don't think he's here. It, it, I, I'll. I defend the Parkland jokes, but honestly, when he, if he, I think if he were to address the jacking off thing, I, it would make me uncomfortable no matter how he did it. I don't think there's a good way to do it. If yeah, I'm being honest with myself. I mean, but that's what everyone wants. That's what everyone got mad at him well, for. Fuck, they're yeah. tricking him. Like, that's, that's what Paul F. Tompkins. That was like his original thing. Fuck right? Paul F. Tompkins. I think he helps Patton Oswalt murder his wife. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't stand. You heard he, it here first. I just don't like that he wears a suit <laughs> in L.A. Weather. One hour ago, Nick, we're in the kitchen. You're like, the thing about it is no one's gonna give us any opportunities, so we gotta make our own success. And now you're just fucking burning. Them. I love werewolves and lollipops. For the record, I don't endorse the theory. <laughs> he murdered his wife. He wanted to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. Yes, <laughs> I loved it. I've pushed Patton the uh, coward hour to yeah, its Pat, full Patton potential. Oswald, Pat, thank you for retweeting me. <laughs> Pat Oswalt, Oswalt called Obama the N word on my weakness is strong just because, and it's so embarrassing the, if you look up the mm-hmm. bit. Yeah, L- which I defend. I think that's I think that's the the best thing he ever did. Damn, everyone was t- saying the N word in like 2011. Because fucking Lou, no, this was 2009. It was a year after Louis did it. Oh and, yeah, and you could tell the Patton was like, oh, the, that's the benchmark for like you know like. The the, the thing in comedy is yeah. like white guys being brave enough to say the n-word mm-hmm. it, it totally feels like a transparent yeah i can't wait until the next wave of that yeah in like An- another black years. guy's gonna have to, it was like a year after obama got elected where i was like we did it racism is over right exactly. we can say the <laughs> n-word <laughs> but the, but the i mean the, the fuck man Here, here's the only reason why i think he uh, killed his wife <laughs> the, jesus <laughs> man he did dude robbie you're i obvious. don't think he killed his wife well <laughs> there, he didn't he did not kill his wife let Nick. me show you this dry is this story. irony poisoning <laughs> i can't <laughs> no this is look i go down rabbit holes i all i know is when he he was you know he was in that movie young adult yeah with, uh, charlie's Theron. Theron. he's great in that movie there's mm-hmm. and there there are like 10 interviews where he's creep and this is when he was married he was like and the way he talks about it, it's in his book too he's like and then my gross little troll body got to like cradle like the most supple beautiful woman in well, that's Hollywood. how he talks about everything yeah but it's but you can the seed was planted he was like 
I need to be getting a fucking Hollywood wife, dude. You know that that's what happened. Like, that was, he got a taste. Nick, you had to take a huge leap from he uses weird adjectives to. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, the, it's the creepy way that he talked about Charlize. Like, she was this object, like, this object of desire. And I think that once he got a taste of, like, you know. Yeah. Well, you heard it here, folks. Nick Oldershaw, male feminist, thinks that. Yeah, it's not good. Not- that's true. <laughs> this is a Me Too. It's, 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 you're, you're exposing a I'm Me Too story. I'm trying to fucking expose how creepy he was to Charlize. And then got the idea he's like I got this fucking wife before I was even famous I know that I could at least get the bitch who did a voice in Star Wars and he did congratulations are you happy Patton <laughs> well it's like it's not like his wife his <laughs> new wife is that much hotter than no, his old but wife but it's the status look I'm a, <laughs> that's, his, that's his defense <laughs> yeah, I mean look it's the it, status I, there of would be a something wife fishy, with credits it would be something fishy if he like married Charlize Theron he couldn't get Charlize He's not stupid, but he wanted a wife with a nice media. He could have divorced her. <laughs> no, you can't. Th- because he could have been a swinger. They have a daughter. that You don't think he wants to pay fucking alimony, dude? She'd be taking him for everything he was worth. This way, he got money. <laughs> what if you... <laughs> <laughs> did I mention that I? Did I mention that can I you failed imagine, the sociopath test? Yeah, can I? Can you imagine Pat Nozzle being like, "All right, you're gonna die, derp de der, or whatever the fuck"? It doesn't sound like that. He'd be like, <laughs> well, "Well, how would Patton talk about killing his wife?" Yeah, <laughs> he would definitely like sing the the death threat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> killing my wife on the side. He'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like "Here comes the fentanyl." Do 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 do. He's just like Man. drops it. <laughs> I mean, it's be on the record. I think you're this, full this, of poison. This is yeah. irony poison. <laughs> We've um, it's not. In this, in this <laughs> episode, not. we were all playing characters of people who believe Pat Oswalt killed his wife. I think he might have killed his wife. <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse the more I say it. It's. <laughs> We, this will one day. I, I I can't talk too much about it, but I'm starting to like work on a screenplay with my friend who like actually has connections, and yeah. like it, and so th- we might have to delete this in a, in a couple months. I'm being totally honest. Oh Jesus! <laughs> if you hold me hostage with this with this episode, I don't know what I'm going to do to you, but it'll be bad. <laughs> He's going to kill your wife, Brendan. Anyone who would get mad is going to turn it off when we do all the Chinese (laughs) So in the first five minutes, what if this is literally the end of our podcast? That would rule. I love it. (laughs) I love that Sam and me (laughs) are the ones who brought down your podcast. (laughs) We literally, we just deleted Sam's episode (laughs) on accident. (laughs) I accidentally deleted the episode. That rules so hard. I love... I love bringing down the, <laughs> yeah. the coward hour. Because like, I record them all in the same <laughs> garage band theory, project, baby. and I accidentally recorded over it, which is something that should be impossible on a computer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're man, like, uh, I just pictured it, though, like Al Pacino at the end of Jack and Jill, just like, burn this. <laughs> <laughs> this must never be heard by anybody. The, when he's talking about the, uh, what is it? The Dunkachino the commercial. The Dunkachino. <laughs> but it's a weird scene because it's the end of Jack and Jill, and it's like, it's very weirdly meta because Sandler turns off to you, he's like, well, what'd you think? Like he just showed him the entire movie, Jack and Jill. <laughs> right, right, right. And then Al Pacino goes, you made this. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I did. What'd you think? And he's like, this should never be seen by anybody. You got to burn this. Lo- I'm not kidding. And it just cuts right to the credits. It's so bizarre. I love Jack and Jill. Because I love when uh, Jill breaks Al Pacino's only Oscar. And he's like, ah, you'd think I'd have more of those. Yeah. They, well, they destroy Al Pacino's Oscar. He, who, by the way, not a cameo, a major role. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> dude, that was why I loved it. Because he was, Al Pacino is not in the advertisements for Jack and Jill. No, he's not. He's a main character in the movie. No, he's the love interest. He's the love interest of <laughs> he's Jill. He's really horny for Jill. He, I, my, <laughs> what is he he's doing? Like They're doing like Richard III on Broadway and he just like takes a cell phone call. Yeah. It's so funny. Well, did you hear that he really committed to it? Because Norm's in it and he was in the he was in the table read and stuff and Norm was saying that apparently Pacino would call up uh, <laughs> would call Robert Smigel who wrote it in the middle of the night and be like, I've cracked it. I'm Don <laughs> Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, cool. Yeah, call Sandler about that. And just hang up. It is. I love that when they get to Pacino's house and he cha- like this is the way my friend <laughs> Keith put it. He changes into his comfortable clothes. He's dressed like Trayvon Martin. Oh, he's fuck. got like a fucking gray hoodie yeah. on and yeah. like baggy jeans that are too low. Yeah. Damn, I got to watch Jack and Jill. Oh, it's, yeah. Wait, wait. Are you ready for this movie. cameo list? All right. It's going to get better as it goes. David Spade, of course, dressed as a woman. Hilarious. You have to do it. That Rob Schneider. Oh, yeah. Norm. Also, Rob Schneider, then Johnny Depp. 
Oh, yeah. Bruce Jenner. That's right. Jared from Subway. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Jenner, he's in He's in Richard the Third or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, and also Johnny Depp is with him at the fucking so Lakers game. Amazing. And then a huge part of it is him meeting Jared from Subway. <laughs> what if... What if uh, what if Bruce Jenner got the idea to be trans looking at uh, Jill? <laughs> he's, he like, like, hmm. he's like, he doesn't know that it's Sandler and a wig. He's like, I want to look like that beautiful woman. <laughs> he's like, that's, I think that's what I've been missing out on my whole life. <laughs> wow, that looks great. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. That would rule. <laughs> yeah. And also Jared got the idea to fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't related. He just, no, he it just, popped into his head yeah. that he's like, man, I'm He's looking around at the same. He's like, I've really made it. Yeah. And he's like, wow, I got away with being in a big movie. I wonder what else I could get away <laughs> with. <laughs> well, I think he just assumed that he was already, he's like, I've, all right, I have my SAG card. I'm protected by the pedophile elite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was like, nope, you're the fall guy, Sorry. buddy. No one's attached to the fucking fresh guy. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I have a theory that Jared was the fall guy for Pizzagate. He totally was, dude. Yeah, mm, that Robbie, makes sense. Well, of course, I'm gonna yes and every fucking thing Thanks, that you said. Like, yeah, Nick loves theory. Yeah, I love theories. I'm not saying I, there's a Clinton's connection, but I think if you if you dive deep enough, there's totally a Clinton's connection. Yeah, totally. I, the only thing I, think, I don't know if I've said this <laughs> <laughs> to fucking Subway Jerry. <laughs> yes, I don't know if I've said this on the podcast. Podesta before. at the le- pizza. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What's the only place they serve pizza and subs? Oh my god! Why do they serve right. pizza at Subway? And you know what's funny? Damn! A- after dude. he went, da- wait, but listen. After he went down, they don't. Co- it's they don't serve pizza now. It's yeah, flatbread. No, yeah. They don't call it pizza anymore. The Fall Guy, but the Fall Guy, the fucking Fall Guy. Damn, dude, fucking. Because Hillary, this is a this is a usual suspects moment for me. Yeah. <laughs> I always think about. Like, you realize your world is directed by pedophiles. I just, <laughs> I just think about like Jared behind bars and like the and the Orson Welles voiceover from Lady from Shanghai, which is like, and I was the fall guy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, yeah, sure, Jared. <laughs> I like. Look, look, okay, so do you think they ever like in the prison that Jared is in? Do you think? Lunch is ever subs, and he just cr- like one tier. Oh, uh, they served Cosby Jello. They did serve Cosby <laughs> yeah. Jello. Did you have you guys heard Cosby's voicemails? Yeah, I sent them to you. Yes, he's like, so- I'm possessed <laughs> by my dead mother. Cosby. <laughs> Fuck it, is, is Bill Cosby doing freestyles like a rapper in jail? <laughs> just he, track? Yes, he needs to do the album over the phone. Like, that's what I was saying. Yeah, but, like, yeah. put a big, like, like Grateful Dead concert wall of speakers and then. <laughs> The theater is full of people, and then Cosby calls on the on the uh, prison bay phone. <laughs> well, and the, does a fucking hour. The amazing thing. So Cosby is completely he he's blind. He calls it unsighted. <laughs> I don't know, I'm right? unsighted. And he was telling his uh, who's he? I guess it was his lawyer, or whatever. That his mother, the ghost of his mother, is possessing him in the middle of the night and moving his hands. <laughs> 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 there are. There's many so many voicemails. Cra- like there's this. so many crazy <laughs> shit. You can hear them. You can listen to him say this shit. Why would they release these voicemails? Because fuck it, dude. At it, this it's point- like the Louis set. It's like this is the Cosby set yeah. <laughs> that yeah. got leaked. That's so funny. It's like he's working. He's not done yet. He's no, working he's working on, on, on it. I'm going to write a blog post material. about these where I say, I act like I think this is a Louis set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you read the transcripts and get confused. You're like, I haven't listened to them, but I've read the transcripts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jim Norton just appears and debates you. <laughs> This is a spicy, spicy episode. I, to, spicy. I told you. Well, this is what happens when uh, I've we, been we gone. don't. Yeah, we don't record for a couple of weeks, so I just build up bad thoughts. Me too. <laughs> We've all. I it's mean, it, it's literally like someone just like shook a beer can and yeah, just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm also like Rand Paul. I've pushed you guys to the. <laughs> I'm the Bernie of the chat or of the of the. Of the Here's pod. my thing about Pizzagate. This is the only. Thank hole you. I'm glad we're back on this. We have to leave. I'm just saying he felt okay. So they were saying when Hillary was gearing up to run, she was like tying a lot of loose ends. Like she was like starting to give speeches against Joe Biden to box him out, taking his donors. Around the same time, who's going down? Who does the FBI lock up? Tw- um. Jared from Subway. Jared, Jared from, from Subway. Subway. Yeah. yeah. 2015. I mean, it's weird. The timing. It is weird. Subway. Some would compare the way the children were being uh, traded to the Underground Railroad. So Subway, Underground Railroad. There's oh, the connection there. Shit. It's kind of like an Underground Railroad for like raped children. Damn, your brain really is very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this, this is a good rant. <laughs> and also, they were apparently there was something to do with like this pedophile. is like conspiracy theory. Robin Williams. <laughs> originally, <clears throat> to bring it all back, there was something. The original <laughs> season two of True Detective was going to be about like underground like pedophile networks that were uh, that had something to do with like the Los Angeles like underground tunnel. I don't remember. I think that might all actually be completely wrong. <laughs> but <laughs> but the only no, that's the that's the the full season of True Detective that we're writing on spec. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, once I found out that Jeremy, I'm I like the first two episodes, but apparently I like it because Jeremy Saulnier directed them, and I love his movies. But apparently, he left after the second episode because of creative differences. Oh shit! So well, it might no be about to get really Who's bad. Who's Jeremy? What did he do? He directed Blue Ruin and Green Room. Oh yeah, he's he, great. He was like. This title doesn't have a color in it. I have to leave. <laughs> yeah, man. But like, uh, here's the thing I'll say about comic you, ping pong. I keep. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. You've been there. I've been there. Yeah, yeah. I have. I saw Ty Siegel there. He was really good. Um, <laughs> and the only thing that gives me pause, if it really, I don't know if it's a front for an underground pedophile ring because the pizza is really good, and you wouldn't be good at both. Yeah. Does that, that make sense? No, it's like, like Tony Soprano wasn't good at waste management. Right. That was a bad like either like the pizza's really good and children are like scrambling at the back, or you're serving like cardboard with mozzarella and ketchup on it. Yeah. And efficiently raping children underground. That was yeah, bizarre that they just targeted one business. <laughs> like the yeah. small business. Well, there were a lot of fucking weird doors around the <laughs> I, don't know. I think that I think I literally Were there like, weird doors? I remember that there was like a picture of like uh like uh what do you call it? Um, what do you call that? A door? I don't know what a a cellar door. Right. That people were just like, I think if we get in here, we'll find the kids. I remember seeing that on Reddit. Much like this comedy cellar. Yeah, there are kids underneath the comedy yeah. cellar. <laughs> Let's not. All the kids that Louis <laughs> raped. Louis raped kids, right? Yeah. That's what he's. That's what my. For. That's what my mom Jesus thought. Christ. Yeah. Louis, that my like, mom was like, I just can't stand what Louis did, and I was like, yeah. What? Uh, oh yeah, I understand. And he's like, all that stuff with kids. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He molested yeah, his the- daughter and then directed a movie about yeah, it. Yeah, I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other golden calves we want to touch on? Oh, I wanted to talk about New Year's. Yeah. Oh, shit, talk about New yeah, Year's, yeah, dude. Okay. We'll go long. Who gives All a right. fuck? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I I, th- I thought... All right, you, you know how every every interaction I have with every woman is bad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, okay. Why would it be good? So, yeah, this, this went exceptionally is. bad. All right, so... On New Year's, I was I was at a party. I was with uh, Tim and Dom and uh, those people. The, all the hot people. All the hot people. Yeah, you can't. Are um, they hot? They're friend. That friend group. Yeah, they're very hot. Yeah. What is with filmmakers? They're all so hot. I don't that's know. Good. But anyway, so I'm there, and this girl. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just cut it off. This isn't gonna be a good. No, I want to hear this, dude. Brandon, come okay. on. All right, fine. We'll come on. on, a, on, a, on a... <laughs> this is great. The people want this. Uh, okay. All right. So. Um, so I'm talking, I'm talking with the boys, and this really hot girl comes in, and she instantly looks in my eyes, and I instantly, like, you know how you know when someone's attracted to you? Mm-hmm. And I knew, because it has not happened to me in California, ever. Oh my god. Not once. This was the first time any woman has looked at me like she's attracted to me. Oh my god. The entire time that I've lived here. So I start chatting with her, and it's going really well, and she's like laughing at my jokes and stuff, and she's like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a comedian. She's like, oh, well... Let me add you on Facebook. I need to come to one of your shows sometime. Can I just I'm imagining your surprised face the first time she laughs at one of your jokes. I'm like imagining like you're like <laughs> I, I can imagine the way your eyebrows probably like popped yeah, I'm like, up. Hmm, well, this is an, I I was <laughs> cuz normally I walk into interactions with beautiful women planning on it tanking and I'll at least get a tweet or something out of it. Oh my god. Yeah, but go on. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 So I'm chatting with this girl and um Eventually, she she mentioned, she's like, I'm Polly. And then I'm like, ah, fuck. Oh, no. Well, now it's ruined, but I can at least try to fuck her. Because until then, I was like, maybe this is my reward for being good. Maybe God has, yeah. <laughs> you know, fate. Uh, but then I was like, oh, no, this is not. This, this woman is trash. Because um, <laughs> Polly people are bad. Spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So anyway. You think so? Yeah. Really? So, I do. I think that it's um, a moral failing. We have draconian views on sex on this. I know, Robbie, you're all about free love. You should be able to fuck a 14-year-old if they sign a paper. I, I understand that that's that. you. I mean, look, that'd <laughs> be great. In France, you know, How, Luke Besson. What kind of contract, all right? <laughs> oh, if, if this is an airtight contract... I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think you should be able to fuck 14-year-olds. Robbie's like, you're, this, you don't need to go into a moral panic, Nick. I'm just like, well, yeah. That's know. not what... That is, that is a <laughs> poor, poor assessment of my argument. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm painting you poorly. Yeah, you are. You really... 
really are. <laughs> Nick's like, I think we should slit the throat if you fuck a 19-year-old. No, I don't think that. If you fuck a 14-year-old, don't do that. You don't get to direct the professional. Yeah. All right, I go think on. At, at the very least, people should be rude to you if you fuck 14-year-olds. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, but anyway, so, so I'm chatting with this girl. And uh, she mentioned she's Polly, and then she points at our friend Ryan, who is a very hot man, and she says, I'd like to put him in my vault. Ugh. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Shut up. What does that mean? She's like, oh, my, my vault. Like, she just says it again. I'm like, what are you talking about? And she gets out her phone. She opens this, um, like, a calculator app, and then she types in, like, a, a combination, and then it unlocks, and it's not really a calculator app. There's like a media gallery in there and she clicks on the the one folder and she just opens up just hundreds of dick pics oh my god just the biggest blackest dicks i've ever seen in my wow. life they were wow it doesn't matter that they were black but they all were and uh, they all were that pretty much she was lying and she was talking to you yeah i think she was trying and, to impress you and uh she no she's in and she's in some of the photos too she's oh like my sucking God. the dick she's doing blow what off the she dicks. showed you all her, she, 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 she showed, showed you pictures is it, is it any wonder that these people again grow up to be in this weird like sex cult thing yeah yeah so she's just like <clears throat> showing me this and uh and uh, at this point i'm like oh, i don't think this is gonna go how i want yeah <laughs> I don't how are you stacking up next to these dicks uh, well, she points at one. She's like, that one wasn't even that big. And it's the biggest dick I've ever seen. It's so big. I'm like, I am fucked. Do, so I am completely fucked. Was she, so she was hot? She was really hot. Why, why did she take... I, do you think that she just wanted to like... Do you think this was like a weird fucked up thing where she's like, I can cuck this little man? I think... You think it was like a power No, trip? I think she was a mentally ill person who just flirts with whoever. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She associates like relationships. Yeah. I, I, I know. Yeah, that makes this sense. This one yeah. wasn't... Even, man, that would... So, so I'm still chatting with her, and she looks up from showing this to me on her phone. Like she, at this point, she's like handed me her phone. So now I'm just looking at it alone. And then she just like starts talking to to Ryan. So I'm just sitting there, like just still with her phone. I guess I'm supposed to just like <laughs> hold this until she's done. Like, and she just asks him for his number. And I'm He's just dating sitting. someone. Yeah, that's what he said. He's like, no, I have a girlfriend. She's like, oh, okay. And she turns back. She's like, I'll I'll break him. Don't worry. And I'm like. Uh, but imagine but if a, to... a man did this. Yeah, he would be killed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll break her. Don't worry. Yeah. Imagine if a fucking man said that, Oof. dude. That's uh, yeah, that'd be really creepy. Be so yeah. creepy. Yeah, yeah. So, so at this point, my she... better judgment should tell me that like I don't want anything to do with this person. Yeah, yeah. But also, I've been taking the ginkgo biloba, and my dick is fixed, and I'm horny. I'm horny. Now. Brandon, it might be fixed, but. There are some things you can't fix. Something, yeah. I don't know. I might still fuck bad. Who knows? This one, no, no, I just, this one wasn't even that small. She probably knew that it, no, it wasn't even that big. Is that what she said? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, so, so then I start thinking, like, well, maybe I can turn this around, because <laughs> she, she's, like, grinding on me and stuff, like, dancing. What the For fuck? No she's, like, grinding on me while I'm sure, like, trying to make eye contact with Ryan. <laughs> So I'm basically at this point I'm just like oh she was using you probably so, yeah the uh, fact that she was talking about other guys in front of you is a, is a really bad sign and very, also a very rude thing to do very so rude. rude yeah yeah no very rude so poly like, people are rude you're like a pip squeak so <laughs> <laughs> a pip squeak <laughs> did did Nick just bully you from the forties shut up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking, about, I was like, I, I, I was yeah. coming back to LA, I was like, I'm excited to see my little pipsqueak. So then I, I decide, like, uh, <laughs> I don't want this, this no, story No, come to on, go, episode. go, go. Oh, you don't want it? It's good, it's good. I don't think it's hitting. I, Brandon, I'm Brandon, thrall. this is incredible. This is a great story. Yeah, I gotta know the end. I know <sighs> people are listening to this. Okay, fine. All right, so, so you know how, like, sometimes when you're at a party and you think a girl's into you, you hang back a little bit, you know, to test, like, uh, she'll come talk to me then, if we were hitting it off that way. Yeah, yeah. So I do that, and uh, I can't get too specific because it would be very identifiable. Mm -hmm. But uh, she, she, I come back, and she's talking to possibly the lowest status man at this party with the exact same eyes. I think I know. Do I know this guy? Do yes. I this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> so you understand why I'm like I'm like I'm gonna kill myself if this goes out. I think that is hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? So then, 
the, the clock of midnight strikes. <laughs> The I, clock of midnight. I, I hate when that happens. When the clock of midnight <laughs> strikes. The, the clock the of cl- midnight. And all the ghouls come out. <laughs> <laughs> the clock of midnight is Brendan turned up Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when the when the the spookies come out of the crypt. I hate when the clock of midnight strikes and all the skeletons start playing violin. <laughs> yeah. I just I was like, and then all these, I get so pissed. <laughs> I just love how it just swerves from regular to extremely dark <laughs> language. Yeah. All right. So the clock strikes midnight. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I kind of, I, I kind of I, I kinda get her her away from him, and then you know, midnight is approaching, and I'm standing there next to her, and he comes and just stands the exact same distance from her as me, as like midnight strikes. So now it's just ruined. There's no way that I can make a move or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't kiss at midnight, but then eventually I decide. <laughs> Wait, that's funny that you. <laughs> that's that, just that the was three like of a... us standing in no, an autistic triangle. You just said that. You said so. We don't kiss at midnight. You hadn't let us into the fact that like that was like a goal or a plan of yours. You just you like you do. You kiss a girl at midnight when you meet them at a party. You said that like it was. It's New Year's Eve. Oh right, 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 right. I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. Oh, okay. I don't do that. Yeah, I suck <laughs> Sam's dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, midnight. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, you're, yeah, I'm sorry. But you really have to, you have to start sucking the dick yeah. at like 11 Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. Want, you want him to bust. I want him to bust at midnight. That, yeah, like, yeah. It's like the people yeah. like, uh, it's going to take a while because neither one of you are gay. Yeah, so you're going to yeah. have to suck his dick for like 40 it, minutes. It was it's so inconvenient. Sharing that meme on Facebook is like, if you start the Avengers Infinity War at 11, for, then yeah. at midnight, Thanos will snap his fingers or yeah. whatever. It's you. It's like if you start deep throating Sam. Yeah, at, 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 at midnight, he'll fucking bust in your fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, if you suck his dick while you watch the Avengers. Yeah. yeah. And then I have to introduce him to people like, have you met Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Which is because everyone saw him everyone sucking saw, the yeah. dick in the middle of the but room. But they didn't meet him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he is not allowed to speak while you yeah, suck his dick. Yeah. Everyone's watching you him suck you suck his dick. It's a like, hell of an intro. They're like, Shane I was on impressed. A first name basis with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Uh, anyway, okay. sorry. So you didn't kiss her at midnight. So I didn't kiss her at midnight. But eventually I decide because I'm like, well, I think this is pretty much sunk. So I may as well just blindly trying to make a move. Mm-hmm. So I ask her, I'm like, do you want to go out on the balcony with me? And she's like, yeah. So we go out on the balcony and we're, we're like looking out at the city and I, I try to do like a Tony Soprano, you know, where you take like your, your fist and kind of like brush. <laughs> oh boy. What? I try to Why get... would you do that? <laughs> All my words. Tony... Take your fist and brush the side of her that's head. That's what Tony does. You know? But he's powerful. Yeah, he's powerful, dude. That's like, that. it's like a, that's also like a, a familial thing. You know what I like? Yeah, Tony did it to the to the one leg girl. All my worst decisions with women was like, oh, this is a Don Draper move, or oh, <laughs> but yeah. no, but 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 even there, so you see the power dynamic. It's like he's it like you doing that. It's almost like you're you're coming down off the mountain and like showing a sign of affection to like yeah, this person who like who looks up to you. That's what I was doing. Yeah, but Brendan, that was not the dynamic that had been well, so established. What you do? I think you that's literally how see me. probably weren't even taller than this girl. I was taller. She than wanted that. to oh, dominate. That's nice. why I was like, oh, that maybe this is my wife for the first like three minutes of the conversation. And then you saw the fucking photo gallery. Yeah. Oh, also, she's an Olympic athlete. That was part of it. What? She's a fucking... <laughs> yeah. What? Like, she like, I, was, I was telling my friend Matt this story, and he was like, who was... Like, you know how, like, you're telling some guy about... Uh, like, uh, <laughs> you're telling your boy about some girl you struck out with. He's like, oh, let me see a pic. I just send him his her Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I, people will like that will show up to Ryan's part. Like, fucking... The girl from Twin Peaks was, like, at two parties with Ryan. Wow, God and damn. it's frustrating to like to literally like make someone laugh, like to know that you're doing really well, and like make someone laugh a lot, and just be like, "But I'm literally no like she was there like with an actor from Everybody Wants Some." So it's damn. not that I was flirting with her, but it's like I wouldn't have a shot anyway. Yeah, I'm of no worth to anyone. Wow, you guys get you guys get invited to cool parties. I can't even get a get together with Isaac Hirsch going. <laughs> <laughs> So I, so I, <laughs> so, I, so so you fucking you give her a horse hoof to the side of her head basically. I do, I do, I do that. Bye, oh my. Yeah, <laughs> my I, beautiful horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I go in like that, and she just she just like stops and turns to me, <laughs> and she goes, "Are you making a move?" Oh no! And this I was is like, so funny. Yeah, and. In the past, you know, I w- that would make me very anxious. But I'm on Zoloft. I don't have any anxiety. 
So it's like a you super, should have some. <laughs> that's the thing I'm learning is you need some. You need a little bit. I of got it. rid of all of it. So it's it's like cholesterol. You need some of it. Um, <laughs> so, that's so. And so what do you she, say? So she goes, "Are you try? Are you trying to make a move right now?" And I go, "Yeah." And she's like, "Why?" And I'm like, "Oh, brutal." She's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Well, I mean, I don't know. There were definitely some better windows earlier that I missed." Oh and no. At this point, it's kind of. It's kind of all ruined, so I thought I would just kind of make a move with no signals, really. And you should have been more assertive. Yeah, I thought this was pretty assertive. I was just yeah. like, yeah, you know, I thought I would uh, make a move. W- it wouldn't have worked, but you would at least have your honor. No, I mean, I said this to her. I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I thought I would just make a move, and then it would fail, and then I could go try to talk to a different girl or leave or go home or something. Like, did you say I, all of this? I did say he all. Says of it. it. <laughs> Brendan says it all. Yeah. <laughs> So I, so I say this to her, and she, like, That's laughs so... and kisses me. <gasps> oh! Yay! Yeah, so I'm like, maybe I will fuck this girl. And then um, <laughs> Ryan walks out, and she goes, like, hey, do you want to fuck me right now? And Ryan's like, N- no, I have a girlfriend. She's like, oh. And then she turns to me, and she goes, well, the whole reason I stayed at the party this long was to try to fuck him. And I was like, Oh. This, this friend, <laughs> and then this she girl, just leaves. <laughs> this, it's funny that we were talking about borderline earlier. I think this girl was just like picked you to fuck with you, dude. I think that like this feels like it, there was a power trip. I've had girls like that. T- I've girl. Oh, I mean, she she's an Olympic athlete, so she was a hundred percent molested. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> That's no great... the coaches. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. so she's got borderline. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh um, boy. <laughs> She was 100% molested. 100%, baby. 100%. All right, is that our close? I guess that's our close, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great episode. I'd say it's a gold medal this episode. Gold medal episode. By the way, by that I mean I. Only time I give a fuck is for my own release. That's why I own these streets. Straight up portfolio showing growth. Fuck a pay cut. Yeah, you know I stay slut. Catch me in the spot, moving up for the self suck. Oh fuck, I busted already. I'm coming bucket. So heavy, my dream of cream coming steady. Now my mouth open, I'm ready. I'm talking solo, heavy petting on a Friday Friday night. night. Not talking bashing the bishop, more like Nantucket's delight. I'm taking all the time I need to do it just right.